What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to my channel Weldon Aquatics. So today we're going to go through the skate for the PetSmart tank. So stick around. Alright guys, so today's goal is just to show you the, the generic scape we're going to do in this tank. Uh, nothing crazy, but it's going to give you an idea of how easy it is to set up a tank within that $100 budget that we set. So, the first thing we're going to start with, we're going to put some black sand in this one. I decided to go with black just to do a different contrast. All of my other tanks either are bare bottom or have a white substrate. So this is just the National Geographic black sand from PetSmart. Never used this before, I don't know how really dirty it is, but to test it, we're just gonna put it straight in the tank and go from there. So because I will have one, maybe two plants in this tank, that's one reason why I went with sand. Uh, I've had good success growing plants and you know you can get the, the crazy aquascape tools but with this sand we're just going to use our hand just going to push it around the tank a little bit um, I'm really going anywhere from an inch maximum two inches of sand I'm not going to bring a ruler and measure it but just you can kind of eyeball it um, some fish will push the sand around and one big thing about this tank remember we have the inlet for the filter on the bottom so we're going to get creative and remember, we can't pack sand up right here, else we're gonna just clog the filter with sand. So we're gonna pull it away from that area, and we'll come up with something to help block that so sand can't get back in there, and that'll be probably be in next week's video when we finish off the filtration. But let's continue on the skate. So we're gonna add a little more sand to this tank. You know what, we're actually just gonna add that entire bag. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So this is, a five pound bag so we just put in all five pounds of sand into this tank I think that's gonna give a nice base layer to allow you to raise it up make a mound really scape it however you think is gonna be best for your tank and one thing I'm noticing is this sand is very fine I usually use pool filtration sand in my tanks and it's a different granule so I'm curious to see how this takes with water, works with fish, how the plants grow in it. But remember, everything we're using has to come from PetSmart on this tank. All right, sand's in. I'd really just spread it around. I'm not going for anything crazy. And then I really would like to have used, take the tag off here, would like to have used real driftwood. This is just a plastic piece of fake driftwood I got from PetSmart. I'm trying to fit that budget. And again, we're just gonna go generic. You know, how are we just figure out how we're gonna place this in here. I don't wanna block the filter too much. But I really wanna, know. Just, yeah, it's always something you gotta figure out, especially hey, which way the angle the tank's gonna be. So I'm just gonna kinda set it in there for now, nothing crazy. And that's it. I have one plant I'm gonna put in here. Uh, but I don't have water in this tank yet, so I don't want to get the plant in with no water yet. So we'll see that in the video of when I do filtration. So if this interests you, if you want to continue to follow this build, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, follow along. In the next video, we're going to run through how I set up this filtration for this tank, get water in this tank, and start getting this tank cycled and seeded with beneficial bacteria so we can add fish. So guys, I'm Trent Weldon, Weldon Aquatics.